Hello guys, welcome to Asian Petroleum. Welcome to uh, live streaming. Yes, uh, we're back from uh, summer vacation. Uh, thanks to you guys, we had a great time, uh, spent time with my family and a uh, great time to recharge. And um, behind me, we have lots of cars. Uh, Hyundai Forest uh, with a P, <laughs> which it was F. Uh, but the first camping car from Hyundai, Ioniq 5 and Tesla Model 3 Performance. So this is what we're gonna do today. Um, we're gonna see if we can power this camper, Hyundai camper, uh, first camper, using V12 from Ionic 5. And then we're gonna take some questions and then pause, and we're gonna do also give you shootouts uh, comparing Tesla Model 3 performance versus Ionic 5 long range um, with dual motor system. So let's uh, begin the party with the uh, V2L test. So we prepared a uh, 220 volt from the, uh, the Hyundai Camper. And as we have shown you many times, this is the V2L connector. Um, there's also a connector if you get it as an option below the second row seats, but if you want to do the heavy duty, then you have to do it from here. And also, push it here or press this button, but, oh, you don't need to actually. Here, just plug it in. And right here, it's all set. And let me just uh, plug in right now. So. so when you do plug it in, uh, it starts to uh, light up here, saying the V2L is using up the power. So. Let's see how it's, let me just uh, show you the V2L gauge cluster. We still have AC on. And some of you asked, the, uh, asked me in the comment section, can you use the AC and the uh, heater while you, um, while you charge? And the answer is yes, you can do that. Um, here it says V2L transfer. And let's move up to the car. And show you. Let's see. Right now we have uh, we have the AC on and refrigerator, and we can have all the lights on. Let's see. We have all the lights on, and it will still have no problem. Yeah. It's uh. It's actually charging the battery. There's a battery inside here and uh, can use for more than one hour. Uh, everything fully functional. So uh, while we use the uh, V2L, while we test the V2L, let me just uh, show you. Um, let me just uh, put the fan down. All right, it's hot day, so let's just leave it there. And um, while we're here, let me just uh, show you the car. Um, first of all, we have a bed up here, right here. Good for two people, I think. Um, you know, I can even be back here, uh, but uh, you can also lower the bed. Um, two people here, that's pretty good. Um, you can also lower this table. It's a bit tricky here, but you can lower this table, actually. Uh, it goes down. And also make additional bed looking like this, looking like this. So I can actually do it because <laughs> there's lots of stuff here. Um, and there's two seats over here. When you're on the trip, you can put this guy like so, and it becomes a seat. Two of them, two of them. So this is good for four people. And uh, there's also TV up here, 24 inch TV, um, lots of, uh, Umbrella shell. Yeah, lots of shelves here, over there. We have a USB charging port, 212 volt charging, USB charging port over there as well. You can window, mosquito screen, and we also have a faucet, water faucet here. Uh, lots of you asked about the uh, burner. There's no burner because we have a strict rule against having a burner inside the RV. So. 
But like I told you, we have a 220 volt charging here, so you can just put an electric stove in here. We have a microwave for the hot pockets, and everything locks because this this is like a moving home. So when you do lock it, it's secure. Okay, so like that. Lots of a storage area. Oh, it's a hot day today. Uh, it's about 96 Celsius. Um, Fahrenheit, um, about 40, 36 Celsius, so it's a very hot day. Um, and uh, let me just show you also, we have a bathroom here. <laughs> I'm about 6'2", and there's a bathroom looking like this. Uh, shower, and also a small faucet here, like so. You can also put some of your pills uh, and everything. 220 volt charging again for your dryer and everything. Okay. And we have a refrigerator here. Wow, somebody brought lots of things today. That's for the uh, uh, refrigerator and uh, ice box. Freezer, actually. Um, so this is optional 150 uh, liters. Um, so this is without the uh, smart bed. Let me just show you the smart bed moving, okay? Hold on, let me just uh, to reset here. Okay. So it was gonna give you about 80 centimeters more, which is about 30 ones. Don't break the table, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so when you do use the smart bed, it gives you about 80 centimeters more. Um, so should be about this much. So, yep. You can put like cushions like so and slip here. Uh, I'm about 6'2 and uh, <laughs> so if you're 6'2, yeah, you, you have to slip in the middle. But this should be good for two people for average. Um, and there's also shelves up here. Um, there's also additional 220 volt and USB charging port back here. Um, so I think this is really cool. Uh, we also have a fan up here, uh, so in case you cook something. Uh, but uh, the, the best feature is this smart bed, I think. Uh, it's really convenient and uh, it's quite cool. Um, so let me, if you have any questions, uh, it seems like V2L is still holding up pretty nicely so let me just show you the uh, outside a little bit and show you how the V12 is doing so let's go outside you go outside okay so if you have any questions about the uh, forest uh, forest let me know in the comment section and this is how much it extends, about 80 centimeters, which is about 31 inches or so. And by the way, you have to be out here always because, you know, there might be something. Huh, hold on. Something stuck. Hold on. This. So you have to be out here because you have to be constantly seeing what's going on you don't want to be hitting ionic 5 or tesla model 3 and there's also awning up there so it wouldn't get leaves on there there's also awning up here so it it's about like 1.5 um meters long so it's pretty good um any questions oh, about the price uh this will start around uh by the way, it's only sold here in Korea because probably because it's based on 2.5 liter diesel. And there's also a good amount of storage area here. If you can show them. Yeah, so you can put like all your bikes and everything. So price wise, some of you asked me a price of 43K US dollars direct conversion, including the truck, outer shell and furniture inside. But if you get into middle trim, it's going to be around uh, 57k US dollars. That includes um, 
shower booth with a water tank, air conditioning, and small refrigerator. But if you go all the way up, uh, it's going to be like 68k US dollars. Uh, that includes a larger battery, a larger refrigerator, um, stuff like that. So I know 43k seems a bit uh, quite nicely priced, but uh, if you go above 68k, I think that's quite expensive. But uh, this is more like an RV, so you can kind of choose what you need. Um, and relatively, RVs, uh, camping car and camper is relatively new here in Korea. So I really hope they build more, um, more of these from Hyundai and Kia and hope you guys get it in, in the future, okay? And there's also a extra shower. Let's say, you know, you come back from, uh, you know, playing with sand and you can just uh, use this shower and wash your feet and go back in and whew. and this is the cartridge uh, this is for your toilet <laughs> waste uh, you can just uh, take this guy out um, take this guy out and oh I think somebody even used it <laughs> all right and uh, the other question lots of people asked uh, how do you change the uh, battery nope. actually I don't know how to do it but this this plastic part comes out. So when you do, you have a place to change your spare tire. Okay. Um, and let me also show you here. It's just porous here because um, this is based on Porter, you know, Porter um, Hyundai H100. It's, it's workhorse, like a, like a small pickup truck. So that's why they called it porous. So, but many people think it sounds like a, poorest uh so yes f f would been very nice like a forest so looks like that and um if you move to this side we have a you know trunk on this side too um this is the the 220 volt outlet that hyundai ioning is feeding to um that's also uh for the uh shower water uh this is for the uh ad blue because this is, this is based on uh, 2.5 liter diesel. Um, that's for diesel. Okay, um, looking from the front, uh, everything looks pretty much the same. Cap over truck style, um, Hyundai Porest. And, um, but it has uh, extended side mirrors. 2.5 liter diesel, um, made it to five speed automatic. So we have engine <laughs> right here under your butt. 2.5 liter diesel producing about 100, 133 horsepower made it to five speed automatic. So that's really a shocker there, isn't it? So I, he I really heard uh, mechanics really don't like this cab over truck because there's no room to fix the car but uh yep so any questions about the poorest yes ionic 5 is very versatile um to give you a you know shootout between ionic 5 and tesla model 3 and momentarily so if you have any questions about v2l uh about poorest uh, let me know in the comment section and as you can see the uh, V2L is feeding, feeding the power. You see it's working, feeding the power to the camping car. Um, and it's able to turn on the uh, refrigerator and air conditioning and lighting up everything. So I think it's, uh, I just really wanted to show you whether it can be done and um, what a stupid idea, but you know, Ionic 5 is taking very nicely. So um, I heard, uh, you know, according to Hyundai, this V2L is able to provide um, 3.6 kilowatts of electricity, uh, which is able to run a medium air conditioner and uh, large TV, uh, LCD TV for about uh, 12 hours. So yeah, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Yeah, this camper, uh, we didn't have it. 
Uh, it's actually, uh, I didn't get the car. Uh, my fellow uh, Korean journalist, uh, Jay, got it for us. So we're just kind of borrowing it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so. Is Ionic 5 better than looks? Yes, certainly. Um, I'm going to talk about the, uh, compared to Tesla Model 3 in about uh, 10 minutes or so. So. New Kia Sportage, uh, Pasha, um, it's very unfortunate. Um, we want to actually give it to you last week, but because of the uh, COVID, um, I don't think uh, Kia is waiting for a good moment to uh, do a first look. But because of that, because of the COVID, we ha we're in like a middle lockdown. You cannot, do, you cannot meet more than two people after 6 p.m. So COVID-19 is at the peak for us, so we have to be careful. Yeah, um, complete more. I'm not sure about the uh, Porus, but Hyundai made a complete EV version of uh, Hyundai Porter, which is the electric uh, pickup truck. So I think it can be done. I think I think CT Hunter uh, Ionic Five is closer to. Uh, it's so hot I cannot think. Uh, it's closer to Model Y because, as you can see, this is more like a more like a CUV style and that's more like a sedan style. So if you guys don't have any questions, um, I know uh, Ali, is, COVID is really bad. So I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, be back in about 10 minutes. Uh, we're gonna arrange cars and uh, give you a comparison shootout between Tesla Model 3 performance and Ionic 5 uh, dual motor system, okay? so. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, we'll be back. Uh, so don't go away. And uh, we do give you fastest, quickest Korean review. So before you leave, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that like button to support this video. So thank you guys. See you soon. I'll be back.